So one of my favorite movies of all time, man, is Quentin Tarantino's Django Unchained. Samuel L. Jackson plays one of the greatest characters in movie history. He plays an Uncle Tom House Negro. And Uncle Tom House Negroes were incredibly hated among the other slaves because basically they sold out their own race for the white man. Well, I got bad news for you, black Christians. Basically, every one of you are Uncle Tom House Negroes. It's true. I'm sorry. You may not like it, but the truth is the truth. And I'm going to tell you a story. A true story. A little over 400 years ago, the first slave ship came to America with African slaves on it. And it was called the Good Ship Jesus. Go look it up. True. This is history, man. The Good Ship Jesus was the first to bring African slaves over here, but it was not the last. Many, many, many other ships followed. And those of your ancestors who were lucky enough to actually make it over here, well, they were tortured and raped and murdered. Some of them tortured and murdered in front of the others just to make an example about what happens to you if you fight back. Their families were torn apart, never to see each other again, and then they were put to some of the most back-breaking labor day after day the mind could possibly imagine until their bodies gave out. And believe it or not, there were actually a few people back then that said, hey, this is a bad idea. We should not enslave our fellow human beings. But the slave masters said, we have a right to do this. We have a religious right because the Bible tells us it's okay. And then they opened this book of ancient fairy tales and they read from it proof that their religion gave them every right to hold slaves. Leviticus 25, 44 through 46. However, you may purchase male and female slaves from among the foreigners who live among you. You may also purchase the children of such resident foreigners, including those who have been born in your land. You may treat them as your property, pass them on to your children as a permanent inheritance. You may treat your slaves like this, but the people of Israel, your relatives, you must never treat this way. But how about what it says about your daughters? If a man sells his daughter as a slave, she will not be free to the end of six years as the men are. If she does not please the man who bought her, he may allow her to be bought back again. That's Exodus 21, 7 through 11. Go look it up, people. The Bible is very clear. Slavery is fine. And before you guys even start telling me that that was the Old Testament and it no longer counts because the New Testament changed everything, how about some New Testament for you? Slaves, obey your earthly masters with deep respect and fear. Serve them as sincerely as you would serve Christ. Ephesians 6, 5. And how about 1 Timothy 6, 1 and 2? Christians who are slaves should give their masters full respect so that the name of God and his teachings will not be shamed. Go look it up. Even the New Testament is very clear. Not a single place in this Bible anywhere does it condemn slavery. In fact, it condones it over and over and over again. Not even Jesus himself ever said a single bad word about slavery. In fact, this is what he said. The servant will be severely punished, for though he knew his duty, he refused to do it. But people who are not aware that they are doing wrong will only be punished lightly. So even according to Jesus, even if you didn't know you were doing wrong, if you're a servant or a slave, you can still be punished. That's the words of Jesus himself. Not a single word from Jesus ever denounces slavery, even in the slightest. And this is exactly the excuse that the slave traders and the slave masters use for the brutality of their slaves. They use the Bible as a shield to block them from any criticism for the horrors they were conducting. And then black American Christians, they came to your ancestors with this bullshit. And they beat them and they tortured this into their brain. They gave them no choice to believe it. And you can imagine at first, they must have thought it was total bullshit. The African slaves must have been like, so you're telling me a snake talked and then God impregnated a virgin with himself so he could sacrifice himself to himself to forgive us of the shit that he condemned us to to begin with. And the slave masters were like, whoosh, whoosh. So they're like, all right, all right, dude, whatever, dude. Talking snakes, virgin verse, whatever, dude. Just fucking calm down with the whip a little bit, dude. It's all good, boss. And you can imagine, it was beaten into their head, generation after generation after generation. They were tortured, terrorized, lived in fear constantly, until eventually they had no choice but to believe it. And then once they believe it, they started spreading it to their children, generation after generation after generation, until we come to you, modern day black American Christians, and you're still teaching this shit to your other black fellow human beings. And I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but that makes you an Uncle Tom House Negro. How could it not? You're spreading the exact filth that was used to keep your people enslaved to begin with. The excuse that was used to enslave you. And it's still used to enslave you to this very day. But if you really believe this, let's be honest here for a second, black American Christians. Let's real talk here. 
If you honestly believe the Bible is true and that non-Christians have a chance of being burned in a hellfire for eternity, then obviously that means the slave traders and the slave masters did both you and your ancestors a huge favor. Because had they not gone over there and kidnapped them and brought them over here and terrorized them and tortured this book into their mind, there is a very good chance that you right now would not be a Christian. That you right now might be burned forever, tortured for an eternity in a hellfire. The most horrible suffering the mind can possibly imagine. And if you really believe that, don't your people owe my people some reparations? Seriously, black people, pay up. Logic.